Today I have this metal bucket. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and we're going to be working with the Meadow Hair Decor Mold. This is what it looks like up close. You have the bunny, the bunny head, and then you have some um, greenery. And I start by adding, I start by adding cornstarch with a paintbrush and then I tap out the excess. And we're going to be using creative paper clay. You can pick this up at Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Amazon. Once I put my clay in my mold, I go around, this is how I do it, everybody has their way. I just go around, I pinch all the edges and remove the excess and then I go down the center and remove the height. And then I just flip it over and the cornstarch really helps it fall out quite nicely. But if you roll it out, you can see the ears, everything stayed intact. I'm gonna be using Elmer's glue to glue to my bucket. Now this all worked out fine, but looking back, I wish I primed my bucket first. The reason being is I felt like I'd have more for the bunny to attach to. I did have to do some um, wood putty around the edges because it wanted to curl up away from the bucket. And I know if I had primer, it wouldn't have done that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my primer on my bucket and over the bunny. I would have had to add it anyway for the paint, so I just wish I did it and then applied the mold. Just wanna make that clear. I'm using a Gen foam brush to apply the, uh, uh, the um, primer. Once that dried, I'm gonna be using um, gray linen it's just a nice beige. And then I wanted to make my bucket look a little bit more aged. So I grabbed some salt wash and mixed it in with the gray linen. And I'm taking it and I'm doing this pouncing motion all over the bucket, all around the bunny, but I'm, I'm avoiding going over top of the bunny. So he kind of stands out in his smoothness. And this is just going to give me texture. Once that dried, I added my Wise Owl salve. And now I'm applying the watered down black all over my bunny and all over the bucket. I did mist a little water along the way just to keep my paint from drying and keeping it loose. And the key is baby wipes. You're gonna go and you're gonna wipe it back with baby wipes. Cause I do wanna get back to that beige. I don't want it to be too black. But the baby wipe just helps everything stay controlled and you can re remove pretty much whatever you need to remove and just leave that a little bit of black behind just to give it that aged look. I think that came out quite nice. And then you can fill your bucket with whatever you want. I like it that it's a half bucket. You could put it on a, a door or hang it on a fence or whatever. So this is the bunny with the greenery. I did it on these candlesticks that I found at Hobby Lobby. They were clearance i want to say i paid maybe two bucks for them they're all wood and i did the bunny and the greenery on the shorter one and then i did the bunny on the taller one i did the same concept except i used um i think i used antique villa and chocolate was my watered down paint and wiped back with the baby wipe And there you go. This is the bunny head with the greenery and the bunny on these candlesticks. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube for all your paint products, tissue paper, transfers, or molds, chalkitupfancy.com. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.